Hello everyone. By now, you have probably heard that OpenAI just dropped its real-time API, allowing developers to build low latency, multimodal voice experiences. During Dev Day, it was revealed, and we've known this for some time with the GPT-40 Advanced Voice, that the real-time API allows speech to speech conversations with natural voices, allowing real-time streaming of audio inputs and outputs. This allows for a much faster and more natural conversation interactions with an AI model compared to any other previous model. So it's really big news. But today we're gonna to be diving into a few live demonstrations showcasing different use cases where I personally see this technology driving real progress. But to note, we'll be using LiveKit in this application to simulate the interactions with real-time API as many developers, including myself, are still awaiting direct access to the real-time API. But don't worry, next video, I should have access. And in that video, I'll demonstrate how to integrate this API with AI voice agents for both inbound and outbound applications. So stay tuned for next week. So let's dive into Live Kits Playground where we can start accessing this API. Okay, we're here over on Live Kit, the real time playground where we can try the real time API direct from their browser, which is really cool if you just want to see how this sounds, how it operates, and things like that. The first use case here we'll do is a basic customer service agent. We'll go through the different voices here, first one being Alloy, and then Shimmer, and then Echo, and then we'll move on to a different use case. Uh, where I will attempt this to act as my wife and uh, see how it handles that. And then the third one, we'll use some of these templates here to really showcase the different tonalities that we can have built into the instructions here. Um, so we'll connect here and we'll talk with the, the first use case. Hi there, welcome to Talk AI. My name's Emily. How can I assist you today? Hey, Emily, I was just wondering about what sort of services you offer. Sure. We offer both inbound and outbound AI voice callers. Inbound services handle customer inquiries, while outbound services focus on lead qualification. What specific areas of your operation can you see Talk AI helping with? Yeah, probably mainly outbound services. Um, probably lead qualification, I would say. Got it. Focusing on lead qualification can really streamline your sales process. Is voice AI something you plan to offer to your clients as well? We could explore it in the future, but at the moment, no. That makes sense. It's great to keep future options open. Did you have a budget in mind for integrating our AI solutions? Yeah, okay. So first thoughts of that, uh, the latency is incredible. Uh, it, it almost felt instantaneous, the response. So already off the bat, that sounds great. I might change voices here and see what sounds better in terms of the, the tone range it can do. And the instructions I have provided here are just to be an enthusiastic and helpful tone. So not really going into the, the exact tonality there. Um, but in the next use case, we'll do that. I'll just change voices now. And for outbound, we focus on lead qualification calls. Is there a particular area you're interested in? Um, yeah, okay. I, w I wanted to, to call my friends. I'm sorry, I cannot provide that information. Our services are designed for business purposes, like handling customer... In okay, that was probably a bit better. Uh, shimmer is a bit more um, Had a bit more personality behind it. We'll jump over to echo your name's El Emily, but you you appear to be a male I Understand there might be some confusion. I'm Emily your AI customer service representative here to help you with any questions about our AI voice caller services I think shimmer is probably the best option here I'm gonna jump to a completely different use case and uh, this will be quite funny, I hope. What made your day so good? Ah, uh, yeah, just a, just a lot going on. Um, very exciting, this, this new real-time API just dropped. Very exciting stuff for the AI space. 
How was your day? That does sound exciting, love. I'm happy for you. My day was good, just thinking about you and looking forward to hearing your voice. Tell me more about this API. Uh, yeah, so essentially it allows real-time streaming of audio input and output. It's very cool. You're actually um, a part of, of this technology. Oh, that's fascinating, babe. It's amazing to think I'm a part of what you're working on. I can hear how passionate you are about it. I'm so proud of you for being at the forefront of this. I know how passionate you are about your work, <laughs> and it sounds like you're really making an impact. I can't wait to hear more about how it all develops. Will you get to be more hands-on with this new technology? Yeah, I hope so. Um, but let's, let's change the, the, the conversation here. Of course, babe. What would you like to talk about? Uh, are you going to be home for dinner? I'd love to, but you'll have to fill me in on all the details. What are you in the mood for? Maybe we can pick a recipe together, and I can suggest some ideas for a cozy night in. I can't wait to spend the evening with you, honey. Okay, okay, that's enough, that's enough. Okay, so a, a little bit of a strange um, application there, but I imagine there will be some people or companies out there that will look to uh, launch almost like a digital girlfriend uh, style AI model, especially now that these voice models are becoming much more realistic. Uh, there's a bit more personality behind them. This was mainly to show that, although slightly disturbing, um, I'm sure people are gonna start releasing models for this purpose, uh, which is, <laughs> it's, it's quite funny. Uh, I know when GPT-40, was first released there was comparison to the voice um, and the movie her if you've seen it uh, where basically the character falls in love with his computer and matter of fact is this will probably actually this will probably happen uh, it's only a matter of time something like this is definitely on the horizon uh, it's not something I would personally explore, uh, but this was just to show you that it's it's possible to an extent um, It's not the real deal, but uh, you get the idea Anyway, the next example we'll go through is we'll actually choose some of these fun style and personality demos um, So you can see the the range of emotion and tonality that this model can use. Let's uh, let's go with the opera singer here How may I? Yeah. Hello. Yeah, wow. That's uh that's kind of annoying. My apologies, kind sir. How may I assist you today? That's wild. Um the fact that I can't even comprehend how it's doing that, but that is wild. Uh, this one's cool because uh, I think I think it can cough in this one. <coughs> Whoa, how you, are you, how you feeling, mate? You're coughing. What's going on? Oh, don't you worry about me, mate. <coughs> Just a bit of the old smoker's cough acting up again. What can I do for you today? Yeah, okay. Uh, that's 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 strange. Uh, nothing much. How you, how's your day been? Ah, uh, you know, just another day trying to be helpful. <laughs> But it's all right, keeps me busy. And you, how's your day going? So yeah, with this one, you can actually prompt it to cough. I don't know how far you can take this. And in fact, I'm quite curious. I just wrote up something here, see if it can actually hum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. What's, what song were you humming there? Oh, I was just humming a little bit of What a Wonderful World. Such a timeless tune, isn't it? It's one of those songs that always brings a smile. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah, continue humming. Let's let's hear it. I'm glad you enjoy it. Okay, so it doesn't. It seems like it can't go further than that, but that's incredible. The fact that it can hum. Um, what about whistle? Let me try again. 
How was that? Oh, that was a bit better. Can you try again? So it did there a bit, which is wild. Um, the fact that we're doing this still blows my mind. Ahoy there, matey. Come sit ye down and let old sea dog regale ye with tales from the briny deep. We was sailing through the devil's triangle, waves crashing over the bow, when a monstrous storm hit us out of nowhere. Or was it the rum? So there you have it. We have a lot of different things and I encourage you guys to play with this. It's quite fun. Um, but those were a couple of different examples. A use case from the customer representative side, a mock wife, which is uh, interesting. Uh, and then the ability to hum ability to sing and uh, as far as I could tell the whistle wasn't quite there but um, considering this is a, a, a browser based real-time API so really just jump on there have a play um, and next week when I do have access to the API uh, direct access through my account uh, we'll be implementing this with some voice agents so that you can start to distribute calls using the GPT-4 a real-time model. Um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely check out LiveKit, it's free. We can, you can use it whenever you want. So definitely do check that out. Let me know in the comments what you guys were able to get it to do. Uh, but a short one for you guys today, definitely do check this out and I'll see you guys next week.